So a plan serves a new thing inside Odoo. Yeah, it's a latest okay. uh, feature in Odoo 18. And so the very first thing which we are taking is the product. Okay. So, so what are the changes that you can find under the products? Yeah. But in the previous version, it was you. I hope you remember. It was like a drop-down menu. Yeah. Where you can uh, choose the consumable product, the storable product, and I think mainly six to seven types of product type. But uh, it just revamped into three, and uh, it's actually a very good thing. We can just say that this is the um, layout of Odoo 80 yeah. changes. Okay. And the other change is seriously, we've got something for you guys to learn. And this podcast will be all about the upcoming features of the brand new version of Odoo, which is Odoo 8. Yeah. Hey listeners, welcome to the very first episode of Tick Tonic. I'm your host Aishwarya and I'm your co-host Jarena. And here to make sure I should doesn't dive out of the topic. Okay guys, so I'm really excited to be in front of you guys. And uh, this podcast will be unleashing the latest features of Uru and we'll be sharing our experiences with certain topics and along the way we will have a few laughs. <laughs> Seriously, we've got something for you guys to learn and this podcast will be all about the upcoming features of the brand new version of Uru, which is Uru 80. Yeah. Specifically talking, we are talking about the sales module. And inside the sales module, you've got this product, the quotation, as well as the invoices. And while we were examining, we've noticed some slight changes and we are here to share with you, to you guys. So, yeah. So let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? So yes, let's begin. So let's move on to the products. Okay. So the very first thing which we are taking is the product. Okay. So, so what are the changes that you can find under the products? Yeah, product means it's a very basic thing which we can find in every module. Not every module, but still in some modules, right? Yeah, that is a core of yeah, almost every module. Yeah. So in this creation, previously we had an option, like currently also we have the same option, which is the product type. But in the previous version, it was, you. I hope you remember, it was like a drop-down menu yeah. where you can uh, choose the consumable product, the storable product, and, you know, you have this uh, event tickets, all such things, right? But right now, all those options have been, you know, uh, what is just changed. In yeah, it's buttons. been changed to radio buttons. Okay. And we are having only three options. Okay, what are they? Which are like a goods, service, as well as the combo. So okay. you know what combo is, right? Yeah. So that was something which was introduced in over 70. Yeah. So these are the three types which we have. So can you explain what these goods and all are? Okay. So good as a product type and that can be only used for a storable product which means goods just indicates a storable product and from that we can just track the inventory so in previous version and all till 17 actually we had um, n number of product type like yeah. i think mainly six to seven types of product type but uh, it's just revamped into three and uh, it's actually a very good thing right yeah and making odo um, the business functionality is more seamless right yeah. And uh, uh, we can just track the inventory of goods. And we know uh, consumable product is a product that doesn't track the inventory of the product. Yeah. So it's better to not include all those in the business and that make a bit more confusion for the users. So, so confu they, they're actually reducing all these confusion factors. Right? Yeah. And making it more precise. Yeah. And the other one is service product. So whenever we are just going with the service product here, we can plan the service of the product. Like in the project uh, module, we know, uh, like we can just create different modules. And yeah. so whenever uh, they so uh, plan service a new thing inside Odoo. Yeah, it's a latest okay. uh, feature in Odoo 18. And okay. till Odoo 17, we had no such feature. Okay. So once you choose this product type as service, then there'll be plan service. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And that comes under the general information tab of the product form. Okay. 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 And the other uh, change that we can just notice for the product type itself is that the combo product. Mm -hmm. So previously we had uh, the option of product type uh, combo. Mm -hmm. So whenever the uh, user choose that option, uh, we have a separate tab uh, called combos in order to create the combos and to add. So in this case, uh, we will be creating a combo already. And uh, if it's a combo product, we can just use that option. That is the combo choices, right? Yeah, combo choices. Go okay. And one more thing which I've noticed, that is the first thing which will strike our eyes is the display name. Yeah, I hope you've seen. Yeah, that. it's just a readable form. We cannot just edit it. So once we just enter into the product form, we can just name the product. And whatever name you are giving for the product, that will be displayed there under the display name. 
So it's just to, I don't think what the actual purpose of it is because whatever name we give there, that has been displayed there as a display name because we can't do any further edits. If you want to change that display name, means you have to change the name of the product itself, yeah. right? So that's a new thing which we have found inside the product creation form. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing is that uh, earlier, uh, till Odoo 17, actually we had an option to track the product. In Odoo 18 also, we have the option to track the products. But uh, till Odoo 17, it was like when we just enabled the traceability under the inventory module, we can just track the products under the inventory tab of the product form. And we had the option like no tracking. Even if we just enable that feature, we can set a product not to be tracked or we can just track on the basis of note number and serial number. The thing uh, or the change that we can find under the Odoo 18 is that uh, that has moved or replaced that uh, function from the inventory tab to the general information. And okay, so also the product tracing has been transferred to general information. Yeah. And uh, we can also track on the basis of quantity. Quantity. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there is no tra uh, no tracking uh, option in Odoo 18. Mm. Okay. So basically we have three options in Odoo 18 to track the product that is based on the quantity, based on the serial number and based on the load number. So yeah, you can now track your goods based on unique serial number, a lot number, as well as the quantity. So yeah, quantity is a new, new thing. New thing. Yeah. And rest of the features, uh, actually, till 18, we had that features, like tracing uh, the item using the lot number and serial number. And another thing which I noticed is that once you create a product, you have the option to make this product available in different modules. Yeah. So by default, uh, the sales and purchase will be always ticked. Right? Yeah. So if you're creating one inside the sales module and purchase module, both the sales and purchase checkbox will always be yeah. clicked. Which and means we can just use that uh, product for sales and yeah, buying, it, purchasing. Yeah. And for the, uh, now the change is that we can also use a product for POS. Yeah. And this was already there in Odoo, but the thing is, this is rearranged. Okay, previously it was under the sales tab, right? Yeah, sales tab and we had a field called make it available, available in, in the POS, yeah. which was a toggle button. So once we enable uh, that toggle button, we can just use the item in the POS. But right now they have changed it. That is the position from down has taken to up, right? Yeah. And it is right now along with the sales it's purchase. It's turned into a checkbox. Yeah. yeah, so if you want to make any particular product which you create available in POS, it's really simple, simply check the Yeah, POS. and uh, the other interesting factor that we can also get the weight of the product. So we have a new field under uh, the POS tab. So once we just enable the POS check field, we can, uh, I mean, we will get a new field called, not field, a uh, tab called the POS. So under the POS, we can also check the weight of the product when the uh, salesman is uh, trying to sell the product. So okay. that is one of the, I think that is one of the yeah. main feature and attractive feature for every um, POS managers yeah and similarly like uh, we were talking about making products available in different modules yeah similarly we had this recurrence that is a checkbox called your occurrence which was basically the subscription product right. so it's a slight change but this recurrence has been changed to subscription yeah so uh, it is not confusing at all because recurrence and all means it is a little bit quite confusing, confusing. because uh, some people might not might not know that this is for making this product available in subscription module but right now the name has been changed to subscription. So which makes you easy to understand that this checkbox is for making the product available in subscription or making the product a subscription product. Yeah. So that's another there change. A, uh, there is also we can find a revamp in the um, units of measurement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, we know uh, we just enable the units of measurement from um, different modules or under the configuration settings of the inventory module and we will be handling that. That was found on, under the invoicing policy, right? Yeah, under the field of invoicing yeah. policy, which comes under the general information tab of the product firm. Mm -hmm. But now it has just changed uh, into uh, just units. And uh, the thing is that till uh, Odo's 17 version, we can find these units as UOM that is used for the sales and uh, purchase UOM for the like two discrete ones where they're like yeah unit of measure sales unit of measure measure and purchase for the units of measure but now that has changed uh, into just a field uh, like uh, showing the units a lot i mean um it's it's the field that we find next to the sales price right yeah exactly so there is the sales price section you know where we give the price of the product right so next to sales price there's no label and all 
it is like we are setting a sales price based on the unit of measure yeah. so from that drop down you can choose which unit of measure it is right yeah. so that's it and next i have found something called the taxes something related to the taxes sorry so please. so we had a feature i mean just field called customer taxes till oru senti yeah but that has changed from customer taxes into sales tax as well as purchase tax yeah right? purchase tax so actually uh, for uh, sales we had the customer tax and for purchase we had the vendor tax okay. and that has changed which, which means the name has just changed uh, from vendor tax into purchase tax and from the customer tax into the sales tax so this is all making it really clear for the customers to identify right yeah so that's the difference which we have found in the taxes which is the customer tax has been replaced to sales tax and the and when the tax yes uh replaced to sales i mean both purchase tax. tax and the yeah. also change you can find is that actually in previous version and all we can find this vendor tax under the purchase tax mm-hmm. okay now it has just moved from the purchase tax into the general i mean general information of the product okay. and the other exciting thing is the price Oh my god pricer guys you know what pricer is it's a really new thing which we found once we were checking so i didn't see this in previous version yeah so it's it's an extremely new thing which has been introduced so for every product that you create you can now set up pricer yeah so pricer is basically the customer can know from which shop they just bought the item and that also shows different items such as i mean different information such as uh, the id of the shop uh, and some other id of the employee and all so we will be talking yeah of, of course we'll be talking about the price of like hopefully we'll be doing a video in detail where we'll be talking about, about the price so let's keep it aside now product is over mm. next let's go on to the quotations yeah okay so what are the i mean only few changes were noticed there yeah but still they are huge changes yeah So what are the changes that actually uh, the changes that we can find is not a new one but there is a replacement in so basically uh, like majority things are basically rearrangement yeah and doing certain slight edits, making right? the flow of our ERP more efficient by yeah. replacing the entire uh, UI you know not completely but bringing still slight UI yeah. changes are uh, bringing some of the field from somewhere to the um, front side or uh, to the main uh, part of the quotation and all okay so here we can notice that uh, we have to include the delivery method and so in previous version and all actually it's not important to include the delivery method but here we have a field to include the delivery method and uh, the other thing that we can just notice is the reward button and so reward button actually we will be creating different rewards uh, we didn't have a reward button in the previous version right yeah till order something we don't have a, a button called to report and all but in 18 it's new and uh, it's basically we know there are different forms of reward uh, yeah. like uh, we may be creating the um, yeah coupons or promotions, promotions loyalty discounts yeah. and all So whenever um, a customer confirms his order in order to hijack more orders from that customer we can just reward the customer with some So once you click on this reward icon uh, yeah. I think the pre-created rewards will be coming there yeah. drop down right Yeah yeah uh, not drop down uh, by using uh, the radio button okay that will be listed with a wizard so okay. so from there you can choose whatever re- reward is suitable for the quotation yeah and the other change that we can find is that Uh, about the description yeah i have even i have noticed that that is the copying right yeah so okay. once you add a product what happens is that obviously a description will be there in the order line and once i've checked it i found a copy button over there that is we are able to copy the description yeah and one uh, thing was noticed yeah i was so we cannot confirm that this will be the exact change that we can find uh, this may be or may not be the change uh, but uh, in different instances while checking the um, new features we can find a uh, difference okay. so some in some other instance of i found that uh, we are able to edit the description yeah actually in previous we, uh, versions and all we had a, a field called description that is um, after the product name so that will be the description which we are giving so that is just vanished product. yeah in odo 18 that is just vanished and uh, we can just add Uh, I mean, just edit uh, the descriptions once the product is added. Mm-hmm. So that is the other uh, um, change that we can just find under the quotation. So we are not sure about what the change is going to be when the final product is released. So once we have checked it, we have found that an edit. I mean, editing is possible as well as the copy button is also 
Uh, so oh. we can just say that this is the um, layout of Odoo 80 yeah. changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other change that we can find under is the document layout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the document layout, actually, we can just uh, choose the layout of the document that uh, shows in a drop down list mm -hmm. that has just turned uh, as as that of buttons and we can just see you choose from uh, like making bold italic and all uh, from that button yeah so that is the version also it was uh, like it is possible to change the layout of the document such as the quotation the invoices and all but right now the same is possible but there also we can uh, find a slight ui change yeah okay certain things are found as buttons inside it and a lot more options are there to you know make our documents beautiful yeah right so is there anything else which we know till now we'll be going with this okay so for the time being these are the slight changes which we have found inside the odoo 18th feature right yeah so i don't I, like i can't say that this is the final out right yeah we can't say this options i mean these features may be there may not be there yeah so i think it's time to wrap Okay. Yeah, sure. So that's all about the episode. So I hope you guys have learned something or got some information about the upcoming features of Odoo 80. So do connect into social media for further uh, contact. Yeah. So I hope it's clear for you guys. If you have any doubts, comment below and we'll be happy to help you guys. So that's a wrap. And this is your host Aishwarya and co-host Jarina signing off. Bye.